This is going to be your general message. If you so happen to click on this reading, trust that there is a message here for you. Right now, I'm going to pull out three healing mantras for you. It's about to see what you need to hear right now. It's more of the real talk and self-love um, uh, mantra deck. So let's go ahead and pick out some cards. All right. I am worthy of love. I can move on. Let me pick this one here. I am safe. Okay, so these are your messages here for your mantras. All right, now let's get into your reading, okay? Trust that there, again, uh, not trust, what the heck am I saying? <laughs> um, make sure to take what resonates with you and leave the rest, okay? Okay, we have the world. And we have the King of Rings. We also have the Ace of Rings and the Ten of Cups. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Wands. So there is making a choice here, what I'm seeing, but there is unresolved issues. <coughs> I could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You don't have to be. It's just something that it's just an energy but this energy can be a bit deceitful okay it could be a bit hurtful yeah as we have you coming in with the five of cups energy this is feeling sad feeling hurt depressed even are just feeling detached right now too i mean it could be all we do have the eight of wands coming in with the eight of wands the star in this person's mind we do have the devil with the eight of cups the four of pentacles and the ten of pentacles oh beautiful look at that ten of pentacles and to your outcome okay beautiful it does look like there is a very big separation possibly something that's hard to move on from just by seeing your mantras and by seeing how this person is operating it's very difficult to see something like this because it can feel very lonely and very hurt and hard to you know feel like there is love out there for you in some way, right? So it just feels like it's just a very tough time for Aquariuses. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the Five of Cups because I am seeing the double in this person's mind and then right next to them is the Eight of Cups. So their intention is not really good. The reason if they are walking away or you did disconnect with them due to conflict or feeling rejected, they didn't have the best intentions to start with. So just wanted to get that out there from what I'm feeling. We could have dealt with somebody that was very attractive, someone that you felt like was on the same level as you. All right, but I feel here you got some clarity with that King of Swords energy. Remember, it's the energy. You got some clarity or some truth. You do have um, a very intelligent, you are a very intelligent person, okay? You have integrity. But I feel with this person here, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. They're very impulsive. They're coming up weak, okay? Weak-minded. See, you're coming very intelligent and strong-minded and very clear. This person's all over the place. They could even be very ruthless at times when they feel powerless. So you may have been dealing with a fire sign, yeah. As we have the Queen of Wands, there may be other drama regarding a third party or a lot of jealousy due to somebody's low confidence in selfish, selfish ways. But let's see what's going on. Mm -hmm. It feels like whatever this communication that is not coming in anymore, which I don't feel that there's communication. And if there was, I feel that's going to be ending very soon just because of how this person is. There's a feeling of things feeling out of control in this person's energy where they are kind of acting out recklessly and it's showing a lot of imbalance. So this, this, this person could have created a very big clash in the connection because they're so disruptive. Um, very chaotic they do need a lot of inner healing because of their extreme ways so they it feels like they're in this energy when they 
when they're trying to move on because when they're hurt, they behave very badly, okay? Very badly. Who is this? We've got a lot of king and queens here. You have been nothing but nurturing, loving, and welcoming through this whole situation. Um, you could be a working parent or just, you know, coming in with that queen of pentacles energy. Very selfless. There is, can be a bit of insecurities regarding the situation, but I feel is that you have, you're a very awakened person, okay? Very awakened. But something here with the chariot, it was like hard to decide about something, okay? Because I feel in the past there was a lot of hope. Let's keep going because we still have to get into their mind. We do have that queen of wands again. Who is this drama person? Jeez, this person's really dramatic. Oh, maybe different beliefs. I feel like you are definitely, there's a jealous energy here, very temperamental, okay. Low self-worth, could be a bit demanding. I don't know who this may be, but it feels like this is like the interference here, a disruptive energy. I'm getting, I don't know why I got jealous X. I have no idea why I got that, but that's what I'm getting for someone. Okay, that just flipped over. This person is having a really big, Okay, see, their happiness looks like it's on the line right now because they have the devil. Someone either got caught with something or something has been revealed because this sudden change is bringing in a lot of destruction on this person's foundation in their life. It's causing a radical shift, sudden change that is making It has to do with family dynamic or their happiness or this connection, their stability, but it has to do with the devil. What is going on here? This feels like a lot of stuff that is going on. Like there's a lot of people here for some of you guys. <laughs> okay. Ooh, we have that empress. Well, somebody could be pregnant as we have the empress okay doesn't always have to be that huh somebody wants to offer something to the empress now the empress is very abundant within themselves divine feminine energy again it's an energy but it's more of a very caring and nurturing person so there is an offer coming in or a gift or a message that has to do with like a promise. And then we have the eight of cups. So someone either could be coming back around or going towards you, but then we have this big ass block here with the four of pentacles. And it feels like the overall energy is this four of swords with this three of cups with the seven of swords. So I'm thinking third party energy. Okay, for some of you guys. Yeah, see, you have to put your guard up. It's looking like in the near future, you are putting your guard up because I can move on. We have, I am worthy of love. This is you knowing your worth. You're coming up as the empress. I am safe. So those are your messages. So it looks like you're standing your ground, setting boundaries. It's defending your position, your family, your what you said, your truth, and you're persevering in what you're doing right now is protecting yourself and protecting what's yours, okay? And protecting your emotions, everything. Because somebody, someone is being risky. Someone here is giving you mixed signals as very unclear, doesn't have the best intentions you feel, could be irresponsible, a procrastinator, not doing their part, right? They could be stuck in something. 
even have gambling issues or addiction issues here with the devil, right? And it's like, no, you got to stand firm. Even if all these wands are pointing at you, you're rising above them. You're standing strong. You're protecting something in your energy. Let's see what this Ten of Pentacles is. You gotta protect your stability, your home, your finances, your family, your future, your long term, everything from a trickster, someone who's trying to manipulate you. Okay, Aquarius, because this person is scattered. They create illusions. They're out of touch. They're deceptive. That's exactly what the, the magician is showing here. They have a lot of promises that they have not kept. They have been to a point of like, I'm not going to do it again. They end up doing something again. And you are protecting this 10 of pentacles away from trickery because you know this person's up to no good. Spirit wants you to know you're safe. Okay. So we have delays and patience. This person's frustrated. There's a lot of recklessness because you're standing your ground, you guys. Wow, look at you. This is a very big challenge. Look at this Knight of Cups, player-like energy, moody, disappointed, jealous. Like, what is this person? Because they're heartbroken. And, oops, something flip. You know, that's what I'm seeing here. Very, very... Um, Disruptive person, foolish person, careless person. They are having a really big meltdown. They are having, they're like hitting rock bottom. But you're, something about you is like, you're not wanting to be betrayed again. That's what I'm seeing here, Aquarius. Okay, because there's so much lack of direction coming with this person. You can't trust anything, any decision they make. You can't trust their judgment. You can't trust nothing with this person, it feels like. Okay, so it feels like you are protecting yourself from trickery, from deception, from everything. Very strong direct message here. You are clear. You are thinking clear. Don't doubt yourself. You're seeing clear as day. I haven't had a clear reading like this in a very long, long time. And it shows that you are very in the right mind. I don't care who says you're not. You are. All right, there is so much I want to tell you. I'm not ready. Ooh, somebody's not ready to tell you something. I feel terrible for hurting you. And I'm so sorry. Let's get one more. I feel like I keep flipping. Embarrassing. I know I've acted childish and I don't know how to approach you now okay so i feel like this person has made some foolish choices you're standing your ground they're getting upset you are protected feels like you are moving on and you are safe okay wow very interesting reading here sexual union hello honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss okay so these are just messages here for you guys. Ooh, could be somebody new. Hmm? Hmm? Um, so again, to take what resonates. But as for this message here, this just feels like someone that you're not fully trusting anymore. Someone where you're needing to protect the stability, your future, your long term, your family, however, because they keep making promises as they're not following through. They're coming in very reckless. They come in in kind of like rock bottom in a way. You know what I mean? Like that's what it seems like is happening within this person, uh, within this person's life and how much chaos they created in yours to where now you're just like putting your freaking sword like, you know, down on the ground. You're not you're not it's like you're you're just standing your ground very strongly here so i'm going to go ahead and leave this here for you aquarius i hope this message helped let me grab a spirit message for you guys let's just grab one more what does it hurt right Ooh, i like that the key all you do with ease 
and enthusiasm is the path to your goal. Actions are secondary. Make the energy within your primary focus. Do not underestimate the little joys you decide. When you give of yourself freely, you expand your energy. If you only give to get, it will feel like a burden or drain. Be genuine and give from the heart. I feel like that's what you've been doing within the situation. You've been genuine and you've been giving from the heart. Then we have soul awakening. And you are quite irresistible when your mind and heart pulse in the same rhythm. Why spend your days fighting yourself? You have better things to do. I feel like spirit wants you to continue to believe in yourself. Okay. Know that you are the sane one here. You are the one who sees clearly in the situation. Do not doubt that. Do not doubt that at all. And continue to stand your ground from any trickery or deceptive energies. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this message. I hope it helped. And if it did in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.